Hey guys, it's Beth. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am continuing with the Kanta pad project um, from it's the from GCD Studios, and I did part one of this using papers from this collection to make some photo cards, and I will link that video in the description box below in case you missed that one. Today is part two. So just continuing on with the papers that I have left. So I don't have any full sheets left, I just have some scraps. So I figured I'd go ahead and kind of sort these with you guys. And just so we can see what I'm starting with. And this is what I will be using to make the remainder of my cards. I have a bunch of just teeny tiny scraps lots of strips, some bigger pieces, so this is usually how I start my card process. I kind of figure out what I have left, sort by kind of size and shape, like these are, that's not keeping that little piece. These I hold on to just until the very end in case I am short on adding things to the inside of the card. Like this is what I would start with first. I would add those to the inside of the card. Probably wouldn't necessarily use them on the front unless I just needed a little bit of color at the top of a card or something. I'm going to start that there. Right now I'm not going by precise size, just kind of going by general. Just trying to figure out what I have left and then I will go through my card sketches and try to figure out the sketches I want to use. Those are good size pieces. Okay, so I have these. These are the biggest pieces I have left. They're like six by six or seven inches, or I mean 12 by six or seven inches, I'd say. And then I have this guy. I have a handful that are about six by six or a little bit bigger. And then these. these strips of various sizes and then a little random pieces that are left and then like I said the little pile of what I would potentially put in on the inside of my card. So this is what I'm working with, this is what I have left and this is what I will use to hopefully create some fun cards. So stick around and we will switch to voiceover or Maybe music, we'll see. And um, we will make some cards. Okay, so here I'm going to start sorting through my sketches. And a lot of you ask how I store my sketches. I have this pink little basket that I think I picked up at Dollar Tree. And I, when I find a sketch on Pinterest, I will copy the image over to a Word document and then resize it so I can fit four sketches to a standard eight and a half by 11 you know, page and then print them out and cut them down. I know it uses paper. A lot of times you can see I'm printing on the back of something else when I print out my sketches, but this is just easier for me because I can always have them in front of me. And then my daughter likes to use them as well. So having them on paper instead of just on my phone or electronically makes it easier for both of us to share them. So anyway, I, as I'm sorting through the sketches, I am looking for a couple of things. One, if there is any like a sketch that has a particular shape or size of an element that I know I have like left in my my paper collection, I will pull it out. I'm also looking for sketches that will help me use up the most paper the quickest. So a sketch where I might be able to use the paper collection for both the card mat as well as elements on the card rather than, you know, having to pull in some cardstock because my focus is to use up the collection as quick as I can just so I can, you know, make cards here and then move on to something else too. 
And right now I have two piles going. The one in front of the basket is, you know, the ones that will help me use up my, my paper quickest now. And then the pile on top of my trimmer is more for scraps, like how I might use scraps a little bit later on in the process. But as I see them, I'm just starting to pull them out. So these are the handful of sketches that I'm going to try and focus on first. And at this point, I'm going to switch you over to some music as I work through my cards. I will say most of these sentiments that I'm using, the Mother's Day ones, were printed from my silhouette because I have no Mother's Day stamps. It's pretty sad. Um, so they were all printed from my silhouette. And then card sketches, I'm trying to show, I will try to show them to you as I'm using them or at the end. After I finish a card, I will show you the card and try and show the sketch as well. If not, I will also add in a sketch name, try and add a sketch name to the video, and then we'll also have them linked below. So hope you guys enjoy this process and hope you, you can sit back and relax and maybe make some cards along with me.
Okay, so I am done with this round and wanted to go ahead and show you the cards I have so far. I'm to that point where I have just smaller scraps left and I need to kind of resort and find some more sketches before I can move on. So I figured this is a good stopping point for now. So this is Mojo Monday sketch number 361 that I used and I made several of these. This is my favorite thing, sketch number 352, and I made a bunch of these as well. Just kind of use, if I had enough to make more than one of the cards, I tried to do that, just to speed the process up a bit. This is just as an Ink Spire Me Challenge, number 357. And I made two of these. And notice how these are bigger than this because the pieces that I had, I decided that I wanted to use this polka dot pattern, but I only had one piece that I could make a three by four size piece, like, element out of and so I just kind of went with uh, whatever size I could get for the second one. So I think it's like two and three quarters by three and three quarters. Next sketch is Sweet Sunday number 220 and I made two of these as well. And this one, I was determined to use up as many pieces of this cut apart, the mom themed cut, mother themed cut apart pieces that I had left. And so I just kind of grouped some together here as a definition of mother strength and patience. And then I decided it needed something else. And so I brought in some of the white flowers and then accented them with some of the silver chipboard pieces. And then this is my favorite thing, sketch number 192. And kind of fairly simple card, but I just love that yellow polka dot background. And so kept this one simple and just accented it with a flower. This one I didn't really love. I wish I would have turned it over and used the back side. I didn't love how the stripes ended up looking. And so um, I ended up pulling in this black up here just to, you know, give it something at the top here and then I did back the sentiment on some other the back side of another pattern paper just to help that sentiment stand out so so for this round you one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen cards and like I said I kinda need to resort my scraps figure out what I have left what sizes I have left to work with and find some new sketches to work from and then we will carry on in the next video. But thanks so much for your time today, guys. I hope you're enjoying me work through this process. Sketches will be linked below. Let me know if you have any questions, and I hope you're all having a crafty day.